you look at the society of America, okay, when you look at the people, they are constantly being bombarded. Society and the minds are being destroyed by what? The people in power, they use all this music and they use pop music and these celebrities, Hollywood, okay, MTV, all these things to infiltrate the mind. Okay, this is the source of mind control. This is like some magic that traces back to the days of Solomon, alayhi salam, you know, that when you repeat something, people believe it. So when you look at the news, you know, they only tell you what they want to tell you. They're not giving you the truth. You are not going to learn knowledge from television. You are going to get some propaganda that they're only telling you because they want to indoctrinate you with their way of thinking with their mentality okay so like i said music tv all these things what they do is they distract the youth and you hear these rappers you hear all these people on tv you see these movies and these people they become your role models okay they become your role models you start to live like them talk like them everything they're forming the views at a very young age to get you to accept this as your life you know don't speak out be happy they want you to feel free look at the porno industry look at the sick values they instill on you and you don't even notice it because you grew up with it at a young age so how would you notice it it has become normal to you and basically as a result of this okay people are lost they're only following what they hear in music which is shaitan they're only following what they see on tv in hollywood is shaitan so therefore, people only just go to work, they want to go partying, they want to go drinking, okay? They allow their women to look, to just be sexual objects, okay? They go bounce around the beach, okay, all around, everywhere in society, wearing absolutely nothing, okay? Because all they are is a sexual object. This is what they like, this evil stuff. You have these small children having sex, you have children having children. Society is already destroyed because they've corrupted your heart and they've corrupted your mind. You know what I mean? So basically, Islam is the only thing that helps you see, see past all of this. Without Islam, you are just another zombie. You're just another corporate slave serving your evil emperor. You know what I mean? So basically, I call all you people back to the straight path to wake up. Because the stuff that I'm saying, this is hidden knowledge, it's stuff that people don't know. They control you with television. They control you with music. Okay, for instance, if you go to work, or you go to school, people, they always want to hear music. They always want the TV on because they always have to have some source of entertainment. They don't know how to be left alone with their own thoughts because they've never been left alone with their own thoughts. They don't even know who they are. People are lost. People don't even know who they are. SubhanAllah, is this how God created us to be? To just be slaves to the industry and be subservient to our government? Okay, they use all this stuff to keep you away from rising up. Okay, that's why they give you alcohol. That's why they flood your streets with drugs. That's why they give you 700 channels of television. That's why they give you all the CDs. It's all garbage. It's all to keep you uneducated and keep you entertained so that you don't do nothing. People want to go protest about the wars. When they come home, they turn on TV and they look at American Idol, everybody's laughing and joking and they're like, well, look, every, everything, everybody's happy. Everything looks good. You know? I shouldn't go protest. I'm just going to sit at home and watch TV. Everything looks okay. No. This is how they get you. This is how they indoctrinate your mind. Okay? You have all these diseases spreading because these people, they didn't all just have sex with each other, okay? You have men going out, women, they have sex with them, they, they, give, they have a child with them, they just leave them, they just toss them aside, no respect, you know what I mean? People don't respect themselves, people don't respect their families, you just throw your grandparents in a nursing home where they're neglected, okay? Islam rejects all of this, everything I'm talking about, Islam rejects all of this. Because Islam is the truth, and only Islam will purify society. Islam is the solution to all the world's problems. And another thing is, Islam offers a government system, subhanAllah, that works. It's the only system that works, that brings justice to society. People in America, they're so entertained 
that they're not preparing for anything after this life. Okay, they don't want to think about death. If you try to talk to them from the Islamic standpoint, you mentioned like you mentioned death. They're like, oh no no no, we don't want to hear about death. We want to be happy. They just pretending they're happy, but really inside they feel empty. And when they do prepare for death, they prepare for this side, for the funeral expenses. Okay, they don't want to think about death. Listen, people, me and all of you, you're going to die. Okay, you're wasting your life. Okay, all this entertainment, you running around your cars, bumping this loud music, going to the movies, going to the bar, going to the club, sleeping around, you are destroying your soul. These things become addictions in your heart. They corrupt your heart. And you do it for so long, you're going to fight for this evil way of life and call it freedom. Support a law, stop for a law. This is not freedom. This is shaitan, all up in your bloodstream. Okay, look at the world. Are you happy with the way things are? Don't you see the enemies of Allah, the kufar? They're the ones who destroyed this world. Look at everything that Allah creates and look at what man creates. Okay, it's a shame. You people are enemies to yourselves. Okay, if you want to live this way, live this way amongst yourselves. But you want to spread it and shape it and candy coat it and call it something else and try to push it on other people. Yes, subhanAllah, Muslims, we are on the truth. And you people know that we're on the truth. You people are misguided. You have been misguided since a very young age. Okay? It's time to wake up. It's time to read books and get some knowledge. Okay? Because without knowledge, you're already done for. It's over for you already. So basically, I'm telling you to come back to the straight path. But people don't want the straight path. Everything I'm telling you, you really don't want to hear that, most people. But there's some people out there who are, who feel empty inside, and they can come to realization they do, and they're searching for something. What you're searching for is Islam. Without Islam, your heart will be empty, and there is no hereafter for you. There is humiliation, and there's grief, and there's stress, anxiety, depression in this life. What comes in the hereafter is far worse. So come to Islam. Open your heart. Purify your heart. Do what you can to make the world a better place. Okay, you have no choice. You belong to Allah. You want to call yourself a Christian or a Jew, you want to give yourself a label, you are a creation of Allah. And you will come to know.